Hi everybody, this is Jim. Welcome back to another lesson here on educator.com. And today we're going to talk about tables, one of the more important aspects of HTML5 and web design in general. And the lesson overview for today is we're going to discuss what the purpose of a table is, the anatomy of a table, the ins and outs. Of course, that involves the elements. Now, what I've discovered about HTML5 is that it is actually a combination of both HTML and CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And I'll go ahead and write it down for you. Okay, Cascading Style Sheets, or otherwise known as just Style Sheets. And the good thing about Style Sheets is that it allows you to control the placement, the alignment, uh, the overall control of an element as how it appears on a web web page precisely to its precision whereas in HTML 4.0 if you wanted to indent an element or like a, a paragraph or an image pretty much you're reliant on whatever the browser decides on indenting so usually about I don't know maybe five to ten pixels in this case with CSS you're allowed to it gives you the power to indent according to the number that you want it to indent. So it gives you more control. So, uh, But of course, there's a little bit more learning involved. And in this lesson, we're going to introduce CSS to you, but we're not going to go in depth to it. But at any rate, we're going to compare the difference between HTML and CSS, and of course, the marriage between HTML and CSS. So uh, the other thing we're going to talk about, obviously, how both elements are involved in positioning and then of course uh, data alignment the material or the content that appears within the cell so let's go ahead and dive right in and let's go ahead and talk about the anatomy of a table now before I go on I had mentioned in the previous slide that I'm going to talk about the purpose of the table and the table basically is for arrangement okay if you think about your own dinner table Plates go in an area, spoons go in an area, glasses, linens, candles, food, whatever. Uh, everything has its place on a table. The same thing with a web table. Everything has its place. In this case, you have a, an image here of a beach ball to the left. You have the verbiage here to the right. And then on top of each element, uh, you have the 